Arches have very distinctive looks and have varied through different civilizations. The Roman Empire is known greatly for this. Arches were used for years in Rome, but were not truly used as status of honor until the end of the Republic. In the early start, they had no real purpose until the Arch of Bears. As any building or piece of architecture, the structure and the materials used to build it evolved. Pre-imperial arches were not as long-lasting because of the materials used to make it. The material used to make it, tufa, was not very useful and was difficult to sculpt the decorations on it because of its roughness. The Romans expanded the arches and became more creative with more intricate designs. Some more advanced and larger arches included the Titus and Benevitum. Another famous arch is the Roman Arch of Augustus. This is known as the more stable arches in which it showcases the upper part of the structure as the strongest and the most preserved. The later arches are known for its decorations and overall arches are beautiful works of arch architecture for ways of entering and exit. The Arch of Constantine was built in the honor of the emperor. Artists and archaeologists have always been unable to explain how an architect of the decadent age of Constantine could have been given this arch its marvelous proportions and silhouette, which set it above all other arches, even those of the Golden Age. On the crest of the Sacravia, before it dips down to the enter the Roman Forum from the east, there stands one of the best known landmarks of Rome, the Arch of Titus. This monument was voted in the memory of the Emperor Titus after his death in 81. It is recorded on the grand inscription on the east face of the arch, survived in the Middle Ages.